They're running up the middle. They've got the first down and more inside the 40. Connell Young, the senior from Greensboro, North Carolina. Tanner Engel had to make the stop at 12 yards on the play for the Catamounts. It's these big guys that we talked about, the youngsters up front doing their job. We've seen some good throws from Jones, and here three odd men fronts for the Wolfpack here this season. Jones escapes the pocket, throws on the run near the sideline. It's incomplete. Be alert for anything. This is fake punt territory right here. Nothing to lose for Western Carolina. Brandon Dickerson, the freshman from Fort Mill, South Carolina, with the punt. Player Thomas wants the fair catch and makes it, makes it successfully. 24 yards on the punt. There is no return. For five in the first half. Can they get their first try at it here today? Last season, they were second in the conference on third down conversions, and this one is unsuccessful. Off the fingertips of Thayer Thomas. It is fourth down for the Wolfpack and Matthew McKay. Just the tone was completely different. Here they get a, third, a three and out on defense after a decent outing on offense. Gill with the punt for NC State. Back inside the 30, Nate Mullen, and dragged down. Almost five seconds of hang time on the punt from Trenton Gill. 52-yard punt and covered well a loss of two. Absolutely good. It's got to be good feelings. A lot better than last week right now, Stormy. And they've got a first down, James, beyond the 40-yard line. Absolu, the freshman from Jacksonville, Florida, makes the catch off the arm of Will Jones, and they got nine. Look at the momentum that they had built up. Now you go backwards, and it's first and 15. Jones running out. And that pocket collapses all over him. Aleem McNeil, the sophomore, and a loss of seven on the sack. It's not four down front anymore. It's going to be a lot more of the three down front because they don't have quite as many of those defensive tackle types, but already getting those fresh bodies in there like Aleem McNeil, like a draw. Not trying to get it all right now, right away. Jones with the time, running out of time. Escaping the pocket, but dragged down. Xavier Elias ran him down. Loss of four. And again, good job by the secondary. Good coverage. There's good protection up front, and then the pocket collapses, comes underneath, and forced him. Fair Thomas awaits the punt for NC State. From the 28, Thomas. Near the 45 on the return. That punt of 43 yards. The return was 11 from Thayer Thomas. He State starts its second possession. They'll go to the air. 45-yard line and complete. Imezi makes the catch and wrestle to the turf at the 40. 16 yards on the play. Remember, C.J. Riley down. He probably won't play for the rest of the season. Very unfortunate. Their speech through the... NC State as a team last week, over 500 yards of total offense. This inside the 20 of the rush. Lassane makes the rush 22 yards. Keon Lassane for NC State. With Des Kitchen, the offensive coordinator, we asked him, do, do you have a list of players go to? I want to get the ball in their hand. See what the Wolfpack dials up on third and seven of the red zone. McKay looking right. That one deflected back down onto the turf and incomplete on third down. Brings up fourth. And again, another third down stop. 32-yard attempt. Christopher Dunn was two for two against East Carolina. And he knocks it through. Dave Dorn's team on the board. Not try to win it all. If it's not there, live to play another down. Don't force something and get a turnover here deep in your own territory. Little delay past the 30. That's Young. Goes out of bounds, very close to the marker. Got him out two for four on third down in the game. From their own 35-yard line, Young cannot force his way through the initial line of defense. There is no gain. It's fourth down. The, the opening drive by ECU down at the goal line last weekend. Dickerson, the punt for Western Carolina, does just get it away to Barry Hines. Wants a fair catch, backs up to the 21-yard line and makes it successfully after a punt of 43 yards from Brandon Dickerson, the freshman. Where they are, make those routes there. Here's a chance to move in the chains for the first time on third down after an 0-2 start in this situation. McKay to the 30. 
Right now, that is short to carry Angeline by about a yard. They got three on the play. You know, fake punts. Uh, Dave Doran got a little uh, cute last week, too. Gill, rugby style. Mullen wants the fair catch at the 32-yard line, and he hauls it in. That is a punt of 38 yards from Trenton Gill, the sophomore. By the big Carter-Finley Stadium crowd, by the big uh, NC State Wolfpack team across the ball from it. And they're doing it with their backup quarterback. That one thrown incomplete. Bola Tapelli made the hit on Will Jones, and there's a flag on the play. Thayer Thomas is deep. And it returns on for him now. Comes up to meet it at the 19. Fair catch made. That is a punt of 36 yards from Brandon Dickerson. Just three of six for 25 yards through the air for McKay. Hands off this time. Right side breaking through. Zonovan Ben Knight. And carries last week for 42 yards. Look at that right side of the line doing a great job there. And then when it comes to Bam to take care of one guy, he doesn't shake to make a miss. They need to get this one right here. One way or another, they need to move those chains to stay on the field. McKay standing tall. Kind of threw it off his back foot a little bit, incomplete. The crowd wants a flag. Thayer Thomas hit the deck, and it's fourth down. Well, coach squad there, the co-defensive coordinators now, as Tony Gibson comes into play, the longtime West Virginia coordinator. Thomas can't get away. Straight home opening win. Here at Carter Finley Stadium for this program against East Carolina. That one's on the edge, out past the 40. There's a helmet that rolls on the field after an eight yard gain. Powell on the catch. Zonovan Bam Knight, the freshman for Dave Doran. And quick now, right back at it. And feeling pretty good and moving those chains right back over the football, the quick snap. He's got his guys right back over the football. You've got the catamounts on their heels. Get them gassed a little bit here. This is Person. Inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Gang tackled 12 yards on the run by Person. Those poor Bahamian folks. It's, mm, heart goes out to him. Person. 10-yard line. Wow. Dragging Catamounts down to seven. 12 yards. Ricky Person, K.J. Milner finally brought him down. And you've got limited carries. You've got Knight, who's running strong. Houston and, and Penix in that meeting room. It, it makes you hungry. Every time you touch that rock, you take advantage. Person stretching for the goal line. And a six-yard touchdown run. Ricky Person, Jr. for the back. offense here on this drive for Des Kitchings, the offensive coordinator. And why not behind big Joshua Fed Jackson, Justin Witt, take it personal into the end zone for the first time today. Jones in Western Carolina on third down. Jones, Mullen, 30-yard line, not enough. Keyshawn Miller rudely greeting Nate Mullen to stop him after just two yards. Fourth down. 45 yards to 419 for Mercer, but came out on the losing end. NC State, little flip. Midfield and down, 45-yard line. Lassane on the run. 17 yards. Now Again, they hit Lassane in the first quarter. This little jet sweep. And for four so far. This is third and very short for NC State. Careful of a play pass in this situation. They'll run it right side. First down and then center. Knight, second level, diving for the 15. Bam, Knight. Before being tackled by Kent Jr. Right, 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 right. All day long, <laughs> those big guys just powering their way. Two backs back there, rather, and, you know, Coach mentioning they're, they're all young for coordinators McDonald and Kitchens. And running it again. Inside the five, first and goal, Zonovan Van Knight. They followed up this year with Ricky Person Jr. Zonovan Knight on display today, going toward the goal line and in. Touchdown, NC State, and it's Knight from two yards away. Well, 
there's not a whole lot to it. I mean, a lot of times you'll see when you watch NC State, the big pullers and everything. No, it's just straight up maul them on the right side of the line. And you got to think Western Carolina is getting gassed a little bit here. And a good job, too, by night as you watch the end of that run. A lot of the times they'll run a lot of zone runs, and it's good vision. Western Carolina has had its struggles against ACC teams. They are 0-30. In school history. That's on the edge to Mullen. Steps beyond the marker and out of bounds. Nine yards on the play. Nate Mullen on the catch. The senior. Western Carolina has misfired on its previous four third down attempts. This is down the sideline and incomplete of the double coverage. DJ Thorpe, number three intended receiver. Penalty marker thrown at the 20-yard line. Tabari Hines is the deep man. The transfer from Oregon who played three seasons at Wake Forest. Fair catch indication, 32-yard line. Got a chance for maybe a few more points in the closing stages of this first half. McKay, play fake. Wide open man into Western Carolina territory is Kerry Angeline. Still two timeouts left there for NC State. Plenty of talent. McKay from midfield. On the money at the 33. Spinning away is Imezi. Still on his feet, driving to the 25-yard line. Emeka Emezi on the grab and run and give him 15 yards. Just pounding it on the ground where they went to most in the second half, or second quarter, rather. There's the route by Emezi doing an excellent job going up and getting that football. You know, again, coaching opportunities. This, this is something, trying to make the big play, trying to go score, but... Get some oxygen in there and make something happen there on third down and stuff them. McKay inside the five, juggling. Was the catch made just shy of the goal line? It's going to be Devin Carter. Ronald Kent Jr. draped all over him. Devin Carter makes the catch. And how about a post-grab flex for 88? Off Kent. Here you're going to see him up top, and Kent does a good job. He's right there in the hip pocket, fighting to rip those off. That's an excellent play by the defensive back, but an even better play by Devin Carter to keep focus on that football, pull it in, and keep it. Trying to go four for four in the red zone. A couple of rushing TDs and a field goal from Christopher Dunn. McKay rolling right, flips it to the end zone. It is caught in the back of the end zone for a touchdown, Angeline. Officially one yard, McKay to Angeline, touchdown pack. Yeah, and for McKay, just really rolling and feeling it right now. And a good route there by Angeline, the coverage John Brannon. You know, he, he turns and runs with him and, and reads it, but it's just the, the big body and the big target and a nice touch pass thrown for his big tight end by McKay. To the left side. Every time has been behind Fed Jackson and Witt. No backs this time. Player Thomas at the 38 yard line. First down yardage. Nice throw and catch, and he really started the roll, getting a rhythm, not just as an offense, but as a quarterback in the second quarter, picking right up there. McKay has an open man, and that's Otten Reef. Fool anybody, a play action pass to nobody. And this time the back does get it and moves the chains one more time. Add Jordan Houston to the list for 13 yards. Okay. Auden Reef, who had a catch on this drive. Uh oh. A little trick or razzle. Tabari Hines down near the 10 yard line and dragged out of bounds by Ronald Kent Jr. 13 yards on the play. Four last year and five and three in conference play. For NC State, which started the season last year 5-0 and, oh, and won three of their last four. This to the end zone, and it's incomplete. And Mezzi tried to make a circus catch. 25 yards away for Christopher Dunn. And he is now two for two in the game. Special player and a special leader, number one jersey, so hoping to get big number one back out there. Get a big trip to Morgantown. Jones has to dance. Third sack of the game, NC State. Aline McNeil, Ibrahim, Conte combining on there. They're pressuring the quarterback. Just, they just open up the gates there and just let them come run free. Violation of team policy from starting quarterback Tyree Adams and not with the team. Jones over the middle. 
favoring the left side and hitting his man at the 40, DJ Thorpe. Pretty wet with the way Dorian was hanging around, but it's made its way up the coast. Beautiful day for football. Left side. Left side. Knight. And that is right. All day, 10 yards. Bam, Knight. It's a tough place to go play, even though they weren't pretty in week one and ugly day so far in their game against Missouri is the first down after that penalty. Okay, from the five, cutting across was Hines. Turns it up field and forced out of bounds beyond the 30-yard line. Tabari Hines by Devarius Courtner. The incredible things in the ACC with Duke. James winning a conference championship back in the day. Yeah, how about that? He, he still reminds everybody of a fresh set of downs over midfield here. Houston near the 35-yard line for Jordan Houston, ridden out by Michael Murphy. Let's just hand it to him, get him outside in a hurry on that jet sweep. Couple lead blockers to lead the way. And got their own goal line yep. after that nice punt. That punt by Brandon Dickerson pinned him deep. Inside the 20 end line. He's got a touchdown catch in this game. That came in the second quarter. Your brother Tim is a freshman offensive lineman for McKay. Right side of Knight. By the way, he's gone over 100 yards rushing. Had 107 prior to that carry, which takes it inside the five-yard line, first and goal, which came in the second quarter, a two-yard TD run for Bam. The night time is the right time. The night time is the right time. There you go. Right side of the line. The right time for Bam Knight. Punching it in one more time. Second touchdown of the game for him. Another look, and he's just, you know, just a, a great big wash. You see the movement they get going, those guys. Florida. Long attempt. Almost a grab and a juggling one at that by Patton. Rip that header in. Well, by the way, James. Russell Wilson was the MVP of the 2010 Champ Sports Bowl. Do you know who they beat in that game? West Virginia. Oh my goodness. 23 to 7. Lee Hockman, after transferring, was new in the spring. And, you know, just trying to learn things in the spring. But the lefty in camp, he really came on and made it interesting. They are well on their way to victory against Western Carolina. That would be the seventh straight in seven meetings and all here in Raleigh for NC State against the Catamounts out of the Southern Conference as Jordan Houston gets the call. So now officially it's 11 straight quarters without allowing a touchdown at home. In their last nearly three games. What a catch. Auten Reef. Inside the 40, 13 yards. Quite as big and long as Angeline, but still, and this time doing it for Bailey Hawkman, going up and, and focus, good focus. We've seen a couple times the double catch, what they've got on third down and 11, got to make the 29. Dumps it off, Penix. To the 30, that's about a yard short. Needed to get to the 29. White made the tackle. So fourth down, they're going to go and get it with Knight. Hockman handing off to Knight for three yards. They're good teammates, and they want to share, but they also want to you know, want to be the guy in that running back room. you got so many guys doing well, you get a chance and you get dinged up. That's Houston again. He just went over 50 yards rushing in the game, picked up 10. Will Houston take off again here, James? Close yardage, 12th play of the drive. Give it to him, and he gets the job done right side. Great blocking up in front, too. Officially three yards on the run of the touchdown, Jordan Houston. Again, you're just going to watch these, these big guys over here just wash them down. Looks like I said before, McGirt has moved over up to that next level. Doing a nice job. How is it? Provolone? Not <laughs> Provolone. Provillain. Pro -villain. The Provillain doing a good job. Of course, did such a fantastic job at Wake Forest. 
as the head coach. Won an ACC championship and took him to the Orange Bowl with Riley yeah. Skinner. Yeah. Our broadcast colleague at quarterback, 12 yards on the play. Syracuse gave him a run for their money also yeah. last year after beating him two years ago at the Dome. Syracuse struggled against Maryland today, though. At the 25, Hines up to the 31, 2, and 3, and dragged down. And their campus is separated by less than 100 miles. So, James, maybe just a, a summary of what you think Western Carolina was able to get out of today. They're growing up again. Yeah, they're going to play Alabama on November 23rd to close out the season. First down for NC State. Then, uh, Coach Matt said up at uh, UNC after the win, after they beat South Carolina last week, he said it's easier to be hard on them when you win. Will, Richard Jr., running back. And pass through the 20-yard line. It was a, the Wayans brothers used to do a skit on a living color. Here we go, next crew in here, Ball State. They try to change that. Looking good. Uh oh, uh oh, Ball there's a turnover. The turf. On it. Who's got it? It looked like the pack, and the pack has possession. Good to meet some other people in the athletic department as well. He had a Nice little crew over at his house, so that was that was very nice. And he's he's got a pretty good football team here to start this season in his first year in Raleigh. They're two and zero with a forty-one nothing win over the Western Carolina Catamounts. Dave Dorn on the wall.